learning experience to We are, apparently. Why do I feel like that is way freaking zoomed in? Like, way zoomed in. Hello, everyone. Who's not seeing me at the moment? Let's hope I don't crash the stream today. Let's see here. Just kind of doing some playing with. Just can't get these fucking lights good enough, can I? Like a soft yeah, or it's like bring it close and see if it like a close. Like put like you when you bring oh. it. Yeah, that's way better. Look at And it focused right away instead of spending a lot of time focusing. I agree that it does look a little better. Yeah, it was better than last week. These were really nice. I'm really excited to get this parcel in. Especially because it's from a vendor that's already pretty much vetted. So uh, that pretty much got it. So I'm like, I think we're just going to talk with them about most of the faceted stones that I'm looking for because I trust them and I don't got to go through the BS of vetting them again. Sure, sure. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. We are allegedly live. Um, are. I'm sure many people are already doing their holiday stuff today, but welcome to the Gem and Jewel Sale. Just kind of hanging out and seeing if people are going to make it today. I probably should have thought to actually text some people and let them know. Of course, I got used to being able to stream directly from my phone or having to. Please excuse the, uh, the bouncy quality.
um, when I'm not. Is when I'm streaming live. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Sorry about that. Thank you for letting me know, by the way. I appreciate it. Was it like that the whole time, Jesse? Yeah, probably since he came in. Because I sent text messages out, and it messed, it messed with the app, so I had to reboot it. So this was 16... And then here's number one. <clears throat> this was, I think, number nine. Wow. That is pretty. Yes, yes. There's Jesse answering my question. I want these gloves made out of the polishing cloth. Oh, yes to all, he says. Yes to all. All righty. Let me, uh, 10, 9, 8, 7.5. I know it's marked on the back, but I'm changing it. <laughs> 10 just seemed too high. I don't know. This one is two. Five point five. And that one's ten. I know the like it's great on the big screen. Man. I'm pretty happy with it. How you doing today, Jesse? Where was I? I know I'd shown a few of them off, but I keep coming back to this one. I love that striped look to it. Yeah, I like that one too. Well, at least it was a short-ish day. Oh, bags, yes. Claim the one with the lines. Got you, Jesse. Hey, Mia. And that one will also be 10. My one complaint with the Labradorite that with this producer is they don't always polish their backs. Now, that's partially why the fronts are better is they're not using a vibratory. Like, they're actually working these, which is kind of cool. Versus a lot of them will just shape them and then throw them into tumblers. How many friends is this? Ten?
And four two, he says, I got you, Jesse. Seventeen, twelve, and thirteen. Coming up, Mia. Eight point five. All righty. So, Mia, this one would be seven. Really pretty one. Could almost be either direction. Ooh. And this one would be... Eight fifty. And Mia, I have Tanzanite today that is I expect in your range. And then which one was twelve? Was this one twelve? This was 12, correct? Eight point or eight fifty. And then this one is four dollars. For this smaller one. This is Mia. You'll claim all three. Seven, three. And the small one is three, the larger one is seven. Thank you. Twelve is was really pretty. We'll uh, definitely be hitting these these people up here and How are you doing today, Mia? Line right through the middle. A good discounted one. Three dollars. Definitely a three dollars. Yeah, everything's going good today. Doing my normal hangout. Uh, Carolyn here with me today, giving me a hand again, which is super appreciated. Hi, Mia. And of course, meow, meow. Just got the glove to keep wiping off any fingerprints I put on them. Ooh, that does look a little purpley. Actually, look at it and 
Oh, yeah. That is... <laughs> that is a pretty one. How this one escaped my uh, my my grasp, I, I don't know, but it, it managed it. Pretty, pretty one. And, right. No, no. Well, the one that I'm showing now is, but not the blue ones. They were. I was very disappointed with the that issue with these ones because these aren't aren't bad. They're pretty nice for multi flash. Lisa, hello. How are you doing today? Thank you, you guys, for hitting that like button. I really do appreciate that. <clears throat> Gotta get another member. Um, giveaway going here. Oh, yeah. I'm writing down the name. Thank you. We'll probably give away some amethyst today for sure. <laughs> I've got a uh, matter of fact. Yeah, I'm pulling like four of these amethysts. You'll claim 13, Mia. 13 is yours. Uh, I'll knock it back to 10. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll get this week's giveaway package going. Mm, yeah. We'll just start out with a couple of these larger budget-friendly amethysts that I have. Just kind of sitting around. All you got to do is to enter the giveaway is a uh, chat, and at the end of the stream, I'll magically roll and probably keep throwing stuff into the giveaway as we uh, continue. Kind of what I do. There, giveaway tray. Okay. Not that you can hear me say that, but it has a cloudy look to it. I almost want to It could be a fun shape for wire wrapping for sure. Hey, what's up, Joseph? Rosie, I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. I got it, Jesse. I think. Absolutely, Lisa. Good eye. 
It's a pretty one, Lisa. It really is. And it's, um, real quick. Six dollars out of my mind. The color. Hello, Melinda. You'll take it right on. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. Drink some water. Well, you know it's got to be good because it's blue. I'm, wor I'm working on a uh, on a short, but I made sure that there's plenty of tans tonight. However, uh, you got a text coming a bit later. I figured you'd be busy. But I've got uh, the two that I are on hold finally came in. Let's see here, where was I? I got lost. Oh, wow, we're up to eight. Likes, eight people watching. Thank you. C7. Hello. How are you doing today, Danny? Oh, man, I am sorry to hear that. Meow, you don't say. You behave if you're going to go out there. There we go. I am looking, keeping my eye out for a very dark lab. I've been, I've got some more on the way. I'm keeping an eye out for that for you. No, that's that's what I thought. Don't even look at that router. Yeah, I know you're up to something. Listen, we've we've about got the system, so you can't even f it up. But I don't want you to te put that to the test. All right, cats. I swear. I know, I know. Definitely, though, I'm I'm keeping an eye out, like, because I go through almost every piece that comes in, and that was on my mind when I went through this new batch of labyrinth that came in this week. Six and eight. Hey, Ken. On the floor. I thought it was a snake. I was, I was like, uh, it kind of looked like a snake. 
I can understand. I have a similar fear. <laughs> Snakes scare me quite a bit. Seeing. Well, I'm at it. I'll show this one off again. C14. One second. Claim both of those. You got them. See here, let me weigh that real quick. Four and four. Actually, the smaller one, 3.5, didn't quite make four, so knock a bit off of that. Absolutely. See and Lisa, this is I. I tend to go live no matter what, and like heck, every year I go live for Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's as well, like. Even if it's just for an hour, although some of them I've done live streams for like 12. On one of the, it was either Christmas or New Year's. And that one would be three. Gonna have to restock the board. I don't got much to restock the board with, guys. <laughs> Definitely gonna. You'll take it? Yeah. Three. Boy, that's flashy. Yeah, it is. Most of. I, I gotta give them credit. Most of these were fairly good quality. All right, I'm going to move all these up. Uh, did I move seven to number one? I think. Was this the one that you were inquiring about? I would. No, no, you come over here. Good boy, thank you. Put that back on one, unless you want to uh, claim it. We'll load up the rest of the board and I'm going to have no consistency on pricing at this point because that's purple. A little bit of a purple gleam to it. Yeah. Looks good for like right here. Uh, Faith, I I think this 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 was the one you were you were interested. I am so lost. Lisa wants to see what you can. Got it. 19 for Lisa. Ah. Yes. And then... Jesse. Jesse, 13, 15, 16, and 17. Can do. Just... 
Okay. 19. Do I want to know what that was? Okay. Oh, okay. You were talking to the dog, the cat. <laughs> yeah, no, I was talking. I was talking to my cat. He was uh, trying to decide how he was going to take my system down. I could see it in his eyes. Four dollars for this one. Okay, Jesse. Thirteen. Here you go. Uh. I am not sure where Iris is. Love, I I can do that though. Jesse called on thirteen right before you did, but fourteen for sure. Seventeen. I'm gonna mix these up. I know I am. I'm trying. I mean, if he's okay with it, I'll allow it. Okay. And 14 is up next for you. Just focus. Thank you. The blue on this, my camera hates. Will you uh, turn down the heater? Just push the uh, down till it says L or something. Okay. I'm not sure, Jesse. Do you see my wallet? Out of curiosity. If not, it's not too big video. Okay. Okay. Well, these three for sure then. Let's see here. That's. Okay. Four, three, four point, sorry, four. <laughs> it's 
three, four point five, and two point five, and then fourteen. Ooh, I was gonna say I, I knew this had flash to it. Just have to find that flash sometimes. I thought I just reloaded the board. What happened? You're welcome. Um, where was I? Did I miss anything? I don't think I did. Let's see, we showed this. Yeah, we showed this beautiful piece off. I think I was about here. <clears throat> That's pretty. Thanks. That's four dollars. <laughs> well, that's cool. I'm still deciding if I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow or not. And if so, what exactly I'll be doing in said live stream. This is four as well. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Um, <clears throat> Love is this. Kind of, possibly, like, when you say dark, is there a color involved in dark? Like, do we want dark brown, dark blue, dark yellow, dark violet, dark black? Yes. Dark electric blue. Okay. That helps a bit. And this one will be 250. Actually, two. Yeah. Two. Dark electric blue. That helps me out a little bit when going. Uh, yes. Where was I? Um, well, so far I don't have a bunch of Jasper and Agate. However, I 
I pretty much decide by how cheaply I can get it. And if that price allows enough inflation to still be competitive. Um, because you, I can't even tell you how many hours I put in this week just sourcing stones, looking at, at vendors that I didn't place an order with. It really is. But at the same time, you know, there's other there's other people selling, and I can't in good faith like ask more for a product that is of lower quality than say like if Kyle's got something. I I definitely don't want to be overpricing on things, so it's just complicated. Sometimes it, it's also can be depending on where you know my books are at might just knock the price down a bit to get a sale fast but like for instance the lab right i'm pretty much going at a dollar a gram um and then if i see something that makes me decide i want to lower said price from there i I do, and fairly commonly. Ken, I understand that it's a struggle I have been fighting for years now and still struggle with. So like this one here, I see a lot of little pitting in the top. I'm definitely not. How did that even make it? Oh, that's why it made it on the board. But I'm definitely not going to take a dollar a gram for this. Matter of fact, I can see it says it's 5.2, but I wrote four underneath just because there were plenty of those little things that made me feel like it needed to be discounted. I am missing something. Jesse. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm back. I'm caught up again. No, the opal guy. Oh. Hey, Papas, how you doing? Now, this one, for some reason, I have marked higher, and I don't understand why. I'm going to ignore the price tag that I put on it. Unless it's somehow bending physics and ways, yeah, no. That was three. Pretty cab, though. And it's nice and small. I could definitely do some cool things with that one. So if it doesn't sell, I'm okay with that. Yeah, so and after this I think we'll move to some faceted stones. So I've got the uh, budget amethyst from last week. I've got a whole tray of it set up. 
And then, of course, an hour before I started the stream today, this showed up. God, they do. Now, these are not budget amethysts. That said, they're not going to break the bank either. I haven't even quite done math on them, but I'm pretty sure I can get away with taking a full row out and just, you know, guesstimating. All right. And it's a high dome. Ah, uh, yes, I, no, I get what you mean there, um, that's hard to say, man, um, it's kind of like my personal work, I am constantly told that I'm charging too little for my jewelry, and I kind of feel what you mean there, but value yourself in your time and your work. If that high dome plays a good... God, I kind of want to see myself. The $10 a carat would be pretty pretty high i i would think but i'm also a whole like you know trying to do wholesale so for me that's i would i wouldn't be able to mark it up that's my but you're the artist, man. Like, you deserve to get paid for your time and your work that you put into it. And the rough material and all of that. All right. I'm going to clear this off. And then now these are all pretty much the same size. If somebody wants one of these, I can figure out some pricing on them. But I also have tanzanite. An amethyst. Actually, I think I'll start with the amethyst. We have the uh, amethyst tray. Um, I can't because I. I'm streaming from my phone, so I can't even see the uh, picture until after the stream. As much as I would totally be cool to share, though. Like, I have no problem showing other people's work. So this is, like, one example of these. I agree, Melissa. Now, this is one of the nicer ones color wise for the budget. But you can see it's got inclusions that like are noticeable. And then again, this is the this is the nicest of these. Thank you. Versus I'm just gonna randomly grab one of these which would roughly be about the same price. I just kind of want to show like a comparison of size. But also of clarity. And that's you know, one example. 
Here's another. So these would be probably a, I don't know. Do some of five piece today. I think. Oh yeah, I do five or ten of them at that price. Be okay. Heck, we're gonna throw one of the nice ones into the giveaway today too. What did I miss? Did I miss something? Hi, Melissa. <laughs> the nicer ones are going to be, I'm thinking roughly $4 a carat. Oh. And they come out to about, 1.7 to 2 carats a piece, roughly. So they would be anywhere from 8 to $12, which is about the same price as these big ones. This one is 13 And I'll, I'll put out a layer or a set of them. This one is 10 Got an $8 one here with... I love the inclusions, how you can see the chevron inside so clearly on that one. Wait. Sorry. Like, I didn't just see what I think I saw, did I? Which one? You want the Chevron one. And that's eight dollars. Melissa, I will get that put into uh we'll start up a new box for you. Yeah. I have to pay a little more attention. I said that over there. Hi, Jenny. Just, just a few stones. I don't have a ton of them or anything. I did not think that through very well, did I? Hey, Rosie. Take your time. No need to rush. I've Whoopsie. You throw these in Jesse's box, please. Yeah, don't worry about the prices on them. I just. I do believe they were already him.
Oh man, now I really want to see that char, right? But I know it'll happen if I do. <laughs> it'll crash the stream. So on the low end, some of these are six dollars, and on the high end, some of these are thirteen dollars. <clears throat> they all have inclusions or something that the you know the color isn't perfect. There's something in each of them that makes it so they're not 30, 40 bucks a piece. No, I did not fasten these. I I wish. Actually, though, depending on how today goes, I might be putting in an investment on a Viver faceting machine and do a review on the Viver faceting machine. And Faith, I agree with you. He do totally needs a shop. He does some. Ken does some really nice work. I put way too much into that vape. Wow. Number one is really purple. It, it's got a few inclusions that you can see, but it is very, very purple. Get back here. You ain't going nowhere. Matter of fact, we're going to show number one off real well. Try to at least. So you can see the imperfections in it, but again, for thirteen. That, that's not a bad deal. I remember when I was first starting out, I'd have jumped on it. Heck, if I wasn't like trying to be a wholesale price thing, I probably would, you know, jump on it still. Imperfections, character, uh, perfection is something that just doesn't exist. I have inclusions. I love it. Oh, same girl. <laughs> Carolyn agrees. But they're nice and big. That that's that's a selling point on these. I should do a wire wrap tutorial if I can get some time because these are big enough to do like solo pendants using a wire wrap technique. I know, and still look good. I got the wire in yesterday, so probably do that.
Let's see, and this is the last $12 one. And Jenny, I, I get it. I don't think I have any truly uh, internally flawless stones. Let's see, and then they go down to 10. Yep. I'm just really hard on on my stones like i want you guys to hear the honest truth i don't want that's pretty i like that one it did does does yeah Here's another one with some of them. It's not quite Chevron because they didn't get the point in. Oh. Teasing me. I'm feeling cravings, Joseph. Cravings. Propel. <laughs> I do love to be able to see that in a stone, like in fine and high jewelry, it wouldn't be acceptable. But then again, the things that are acceptable in high jewelry, actually, me and Jesse had a long talk about this a few days back where I was, you know, I showed him a million dollar one carat blue diamond. And it was cut in a way where it has no brilliance because the people who want to want that diamond would rather it not have sparkle than to cut it right and have it weigh under one carat because then it's not a one carat blue diamond. So... I don't I don't know that there's actually consistency in the whole what people think is or what people judge certain stones by. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, you you told me. I've I've been craving, man. You, that one you showed was really pretty too. And this one is nine dollars. Here's another one with some lines in it. Eight and fifteen. For Rosie. Oh, that's cool. Yes, Jesse, 14 is on the way. Melissa, you want this one? Also nine. Joseph and Rosie. And then this is Melissa. And then Jesse. This one's eight, Jesse. No, the lines are from um, natural inclusions from the amethyst.
Growth lines, thank you. That's actually exactly what they are. To forget the, the crowd that I uh, have watching. You guys love that kind of stuff. And it is neat. Like getting to look at these things in... I looked at this one for some time under the microscope because that purple spot, it just ends. And I wanted to know why. Why is it just so perfectly like, boom, color there? We'll, uh, I'll show this one upside down because it's kind of neat to look at how that color zoning. Claim on that one. Jesse, were you wanting to claim 14? Dark ones. Dark how? That one is, wait, uh, this one, um, I'm giving, or Jesse had asked about if this is the one you mean, or did you mean the emerald cut, uh, the long rectangle? Jesse, can you hear me? Nineteen and twenty. Got you on that rocking, and I'm waiting for an answer on this one. Did you want to claim this one, Joseph? Or did you just mean this one? While I'm waiting for Jesse on this stone, I will uh, give a good close, close look at these two. And Mia asked about a dark one. Mia, when you say dark, what do you mean dark? Like dark purple. Um, here's your other one. Oh, okay. So the emerald cut, definitely. Let's see here, nine. So nine, six, and seven on those three. And then Jesse claims this one. Jesse, you might be a bit lagging at the moment. Jesse and then Joseph and Joseph. Thank you. Mia, do you... This is the darkest purple of these that I have. Otherwise, I have... And Joseph, you're going to want to see... I got a parcel of these in. Now, this is a brighter purple, in my opinion. Like, it, it's, it's more saturated, and it's just a prettier purple. Like, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I got two of these, and one of them is hiding away, because I liked it.
But Mia, Melissa makes a very good point on this one. Melissa... Jenny, there is a lot to learn on gems and minerals. I don't think a, anyone could learn it all in under five, ten years. Oh, yeah. No, this is a great purple one. This one is 13. Fairly big one, too. It's got... Yep. Not currently, but they're... It's okay, Jesse. I'll uh, on the marquees, not currently, but I can. I understand, Mia. I will. Uh... I'm not supposed to write on my arm. What did I just? Here or not here? 11. Eleven is nine. Fairly clean one. It's not super saturated color wise. Got okay brilliance. Hey, you saw some nice ones, Joseph. Here, did twelve. That is a nice pair. You can see something right there on this one. That's a nine. Claim number one? Okay, Mia. Good claim. I'm actually shocked that that stone stuck around as long as it did. What do we do on this? What? No, no, no. That one's seven. This one's eight. Got some interesting coloring to it. These are very affordable, especially for the size. Like, again, the same price range of what I would normally work with. 
would be far smaller. You almost get double the size for the same price. It does. It has a rose. This I'm trying to catch it on camera here. See if I can catch the inclusion growth lines in it. Time to see them. The way it, they faceted it makes it a little less noticeable, but can I get a, no, no, I can't, okay, there we go. Those little lines of color are what are giving the entire middle that rosy pink look. You gonna claim this one? Or eight? Claim, okay. Joseph for matching. Over there. Special time deal today on this. Day two. That's a deep one. There's another. Deep one, four, Okay. See how well I did here doing that on the fly. Oh, horrible. No. I see line. I do my best to just kind of chill and hang out. Hence the jazz. I need a different gym guy. One of the new ones? Yeah. Would that work? Joseph? Four, sixteen, yeah. That pair works. Gotcha. And again, I do have a little bit of a selection for those if people want some more of them. They're uh, they're very very pretty. I'm happy with this batch. Like, I was happy with the price on these, but I was also picking them apart because that's just what I do. So I get get y'all better prices. You know, package shows up, I pick it apart, talk to the person, get an extra 10% off the next order. I won't be doing that on those because those are really nice. And I'm like, that's fair. Hey, Josh, how are you doing today? 
It's a seven dollar one. I think I missed this one. This one's eight. Yes. I just had one that had growth lines in it. They weren't super pronounced, but they were pronounced enough I noticed them on screen. You kind of see them in there. I noticed, but I'm a stickler about that. Claim it. One second here to get you the. $8. Exactly. Need a new gem jar. Oh, you need a new gem jar. I was gonna say, I'm not doing that. I'm dropping myself out. Oh, you won't drop it. I'm not dropping it still. I have a mirror. Oh, dude? Yeah, there's, I'm just taking it from here. <laughs> there's some of the, some of those are older ones. I'll make sure. Because I can wear it. More of all I care about is that it stays closed. <laughs> if it stays closed, that's good. Is it eight I, if that's... Or was it eight carats? No, no, it's four dollars a carat. Um, eight dollars, Melinda? Am I... Melissa. Melissa? God, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was... It just happened to have the growth lines in it. And I was like, it's the day I managed to make a matching pair that has the exact same growth lines in it. I'm probably keeping them doing something with them myself. Ten four. And thank you. I don't believe so. Okay. Not currently. Okay. On the bottom. Are you actually writing them on the bottom? Mm -hmm. They're so amazing. Thank well, you. I have the time for it, so. <laughs> it, it makes it so much easier with you doing that back there. Because it's hard to like show and then stop for long enough to do that in between each one. I think I was on this one. This has an in slash occlusion. Kind of an interesting thing as well. It the inclusion is on the outside and the inside. It was cut halfway into. You can kind of see it right there. Which is actually another one of those fun things to kind of look at under a scope. Probably set that just fine. I'd bezel set it myself, but. Have fun cooking. Okay, round brilliant. See green. It's uh, fairly possible. It very well might have polish stuck in it or some sort of medium inside of it um, that last one.
I'm not a hundred percent sure if come on focus for me. If it was a fracture that got some stuff in it, or if it was in a crystal inclusion, I haven't taken that close of a look into it. Let's see, another one of the six dollar ones. You can get lost in each stone. It's it's easy to do. Bit of uh, extinction in the middle. So, again, $6. And huge still. This one had interesting coloring. Yeah, you tilted it and it looks like a diamond. It looks like a smoky quartz. It looks like an amethyst. <laughs> I'm not sure what to call the coloring on this. It's... It has the identity. Yeah. Or yeah, gray. Gray. Purplish, grayish. Six dollars. And you can decide. <laughs> Definitely, Jesse claims it. Definitely an interesting, uh, Dusty's another good... Describer, and then last but not least of these. And next week I will have a bunch of those smaller, higher quality ones jarred up. But when I say they showed up an hour before the stream started, I mean like literally. And then it took me 20 minutes to get the package open, which I do appreciate. That's a secure package in my mind. Perhaps we should do some tanzanite. Any uh any last last looks on these or Yes you should. <laughs> Start kind of from the top and all right. So now, if I didn't get time again, Tanzanite also was part of the package that came in an hour before the stream started. Um, I only packaged five of each quality grade. So much easier to do that way, but I have baggies. If if I sell out, I'll I'll put some more. I'll just grab more gem jars and load up more. So tanzanite, it is. I'm gonna hand you this and trade you for the tanzanite tray. So now this shipment was all pairs. I will rectify that in the future. Before the stream even started today, I wasn't planning to have any tanzanite out. We might auction off a, a bigger one later. We'll, we'll kind of see. They have 
kind of significant pricing. So the top is triple A, the middle row is double A, and then the bottom row is unheated. Unheated is quite interesting. Also, price just to give kind of pricing five dollars, three dollars, two dollars. This is one of the $5 AAA ones. One and 13. You sure can. So this is one of the unheated ones. Now, most tanzanite is just considered heated if it's blue. Because that's the mechanism that turns it blue, pretty much. Unheated, you will come across them from time to time in a more mermaid or blue color. So these are uh, for Melissa. And again, I can I can put up some more of these if needed, just to kind of show. These are the different baggies that I'd picked up. Not all of it, but it can be for sure. Um, for instance, on this unheated bag, you get all different colors, including like there's that one that's just obvious brown. Four and five, Melinda. Good little Mac. Melissa, you want that green one? All right. These are for Melinda. Me? Hey, I did too, okay, guys? <laughs> Don't worry. I. This is not a new source for me. Actually, it's kind of green. I'm not even... It's hard to say what color that is. Get it out of the bag, into the gym jar. Oh, it's okay. No, it's cool. I'm not sure where Will is. That is so pretty. It's okay. I, I will get more, and I know I will. Like, seven and 17. We got you. No, it, this is tanzanite. It's a gr green tanzanite. Melissa? Or no, wait. Let me make sure. Yes, Melissa. Uh, and that that's going to be $2? Two dollars. Melissa, yes, Melissa. 7 and 17. So we've got... A double A and then an unheated. 
Melinda, it, Melissa beat you to the green one, unfortunately. Oh, I know, right? And I have stones for days. Uh, the double A is three dollars. The unheated is two dollars. Don't worry, I, I'll get more in. It won't be the last green tanzanite I get my hands on, I'm sure. Ooh, that's a mermaid one. These or, two are Melinda and Melissa. Joseph. Joseph. Yeah, that's way better. Ten, twenty. 25? This, three or two? Five? Three. Three and two. 25 for the board? And then I'll... I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of gym jars now because... We'll just load this. Actually, I'm just going to bring the whole freaking tray of gem jars with me. And grab one of the trays. You'll take it. Are you uh I'm gonna hand you this for Joseph? Then I'm going to open up one of these real quick, and I'm going to put some more in some jars. This just kept happening with Tanzanite to me, where the entire selection would sell out. And that's why I just went and bought 30 carats of Tanzanite. Pull my glove real quick. It is really pretty stuff. Give me a moment. I'm going to just start putting some, some more of them in containers. Five or six, six. Thank you. Get that up in a second. No, it's fine. You buy it up. That's I I prepared for it this this week. Okay. I was prepared. Uh, in the this one, for instance, would be about three fifty or so, give or take. I would probably cut a big a bit of a deal on it, but I haven't had time to actually do the math on that. But I'm guessing in that ballpark. Um, the other one would be about 250, and then the unheated would be 150. Roughly. I'd have to wait. It's by carrot. Yes, $350. Oh. I forgot I needed them. Otherwise, I'd have gotten them at Costco. That's a very good point. 
four, five, three hundred and fifty dollars. I would, Jenny, if somebody was selling Tanzanite that cheaply, I, I wouldn't buy it because I wouldn't believe that it's Tanzanite. <laughs> I would say I'd jump on it. Actually, no, for $3.50, I'll gamble that. I'll probably lose, but in the in the chance I might win. So that was those. Um, not that I've heard of. I mean, oh crap. Come here. I see you and I see you. And you. I hope the price hasn't gone down because they are ex they're about to extinct that mine. And that's a sad thing. The market has definitely been flooded for some time. Um, the price on Tanzanite, for the fact they are burning it out on purpose. And they're doing that so that the big stones that they've saved up and put back, once they burn it out, they can wait 10 years and it'll be the new Alexandrite. It won't be quite as pricey as Alexandrite, but that's the game they're trying to play. That's why you'll see big jewelers, you know, putting as much Tanzanite as they can into rings because those rings will wear and break down quicker than anything else. They're trying to make it scarce and they're going to succeed. That is not something I can find a way to fight, unfortunately. But it wouldn't surprise me if the Tanzanian government did flood. Because to my knowledge, I mean, they, they were the ones who built a big wall around the place. Three. Let's see here. And then we'll get this stuff. Like, I will not be the person selling gemstones to tell you that a gemstone is a good retirement plan. But I do have a fairly big stockpile of tans, not big, but for me it's big, of nicer tanzanite that I... I'm not saying I'm planning to retire with them, but I... I am trying to hold them, or if I use them, my rule is I have to have a better one to replace it, or at least a replica to replace it. Because I, I see the game they're playing.
Okay. And now for the $2 ones. Hey, you can save me a little bit of time. Can you do me a solid and write the number two on the bottom of these? You need, you probably need that. At 23, uh, one minute. I will happily wait. Do you mean the board or the little uh, white board that I'm using? I wanted to make sure I had tanzanite for everybody. That is a great question, Jenny. Uh, as someone who is trying to do it using my homemade faceting machine, I'll tell you I have no idea because I didn't succeed. That project ended up getting... Go back. Wow. Thank you. All righty. Now we got the $2 stones back, too. There. Next. Thank you for your patience, everybody. But this is, if this is what you were meaning, Papa's, about 23. I got I got lucky and got a little gem sorting tray or a couple of them. I got to figure out how to use my printer to print these or anything at this point. Melissa, I understand. And the sparkles are where it's really at. Like like I was saying earlier, I'm not the seller that's going to tell you that gemstones are a good retirement plan. They're not really, but they are pretty as hell. What I always find crazy is that I've managed to find ways to use these in my wire wrapping. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Gotta have entertainment, right? I'll find some disadvantaged crafter once I get to that age and just start shilling out my collection to them to get them going and keep the cycle rolling. Gotta find the right one, but they, they, we're out there. Melinda, four and three, three and four. And those are five. I'm just keeping the same where top row is five, middle row is three, bottom row is two. Thank you. 
Fog rolled through? I missed it. Oh, duh. Wow. How that? No, I, I missed it, Melissa. The fog went right over my head. It was traveling with that joke for a second. And 11 and 12 for Melinda as well. Get two of the double A's. You'll definitely get the opportunity to see the difference too and get a good example of like the color difference that they use in the industry, which can be freaking maddening. Actually, that's. I've tested probably 50 or 60 Tanzanite vendors and 13 and 14. I like it. And is that a claim, Melinda? Yes, although the bottom line and the ones that are ironically the cheaper ones are also untreated, where Tanzanite of the bluer varieties have a heat treatment they use. But yeah, yeah, that's the only difference is color. Sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen go into Mia. So these are Melinda, and then these are Mia. Yeah, I told you I'd have Tanzanite for you. Took me a minute, but I made sure. Melinda, Mia. Yes. Thank you. Helen has. This is one of the unheated ones. It doesn't look the same on camera as I'm seeing it in real life. It's colored more yellow. I don't, it's hard to describe. It's an interesting one, though. Do I need to line up some more unheated? I got it. 16. Melissa. Wait. I... Did I... Oh, yes. I, I see what I did there. That was on me. Got ya. Um, in all honesty, I'll probably be live as long as... Uh... People are wanting to buy rocks from me within reason. Either you guys will get sick of hearing my voice or my body will get sick of this chair. The chair, ooh, hello. That's pretty. Okay. And I'll keep on the Tanzanite as long as either people are buying it or, you know, until I run out. Can you hand me one of the Sharpies? There's another one up there. Two, two, and two. We'll see you later, Jenny. As long as...
I mean, I guess I could pull one out of my my stash and do auctions. I also will, you know, follow what people are kind of like, if I see enough requests for something that I've got, because I've got Perido, I've got Garnet, actually. Let's see here. I'm going to condense that to one insert. Don't mind me. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Okay. I'm going to trade that over there. You know, we're going to take one of these and we're going to You doing okay on the uh, giveaway counter? Yes. Good to hear. <laughs> Cuz I'm going to take one of these $5 tansies and throw it in the giveaway. Okay. I have garnets, periodo, some blue topaz, and one of the things that I'm uh, wanting to show off today is this organ. This is an organ sunstone with Schiller in a barrel cut. It weighs 1.4 carats. And I kind of wanted to see, this will probably get auctioned today at some point. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'll keep on the tanzanite as long as people want tanzanite. If you guys have got enough tanzanite in you, we can uh, we can switch to another, another stone for a little bit. Shilling me timbers. <laughs> I like that. It's got some good shiller to it. Jesse, I, I think I, I, I think I want to do an auction on that one. You might have to, uh, you might have to compete a little bit. Though, there will be more of that material too, most likely. I can source it. It is a vetted, one of my vetted ones, so. They just cost a bit. Not too bad. Any, uh... What type of board? Type C? In my bedroom, uh, the one that's plugged in the wall next to the head of my bed. Right behind the rolling mill. There's a white... It's not very long. Um, however, there is an extension cord right here, so we can make it. We can make it work. We got on Tanzanite for a bit. Oh yeah. Want to see some, uh, maybe Perido? I totally understand. Yeah, every dog needs to be Periodo. <clears throat> okay. In a second, and I'll uh, start loading the tray with Periodo. 
And um, be right back in a moment. Set that there. So today's period mostly looks similar. I did some pricing by grading, but they're all within the like three to six range. That was the more difficult part of the peridot selection was taking the time to be like, well, that's not worth that much. This one's worth more than that. Blah, blah, blah. How did that end up there? Oh, well, so I'm going to get a deal on that. That's what I do here. All right. I got one. What? Wait. Not possible. Is there a... You see it? There you go on that. On any either of them, <laughs> I just want a single periodo in. If not, no, no. Oh well, I I think I'm out. I they bought me out last week. Oh well, I was just trying to go for perfection. The board is almost filled. All but the one. All but the one. Auction's over. We haven't even started auctions. Oh, yeah. I haven't even gotten to that part yet. Funny thing is, I'm getting to the point where I'm not even showing all the trays. So up on the top end... Got this green one. Number four of the six dollar ones. This green one, I know, right? I thought the same thing after I said it. I was like, that wasn't uh, the most precise wording. Hey, so Let's see, and that's a six. There isn't one on here that's uh, nine. This one's also six. It's just greener. It does have that Ken, I feel you. I feel you. I I just described one of these periodo being different from the others because it's green. It's like they're all green. I, I words are hard. One of these for Jesse and one for Melissa. Yes. Yes. Well, I, I stopped at the L to figure out how I was ending that name. Was it Melinda or Melissa? Because I'm going to get confused. So I always look back to make sure. 
and then ask you occasionally on top of that just to be double sure. And we got Could you imagine like doing both of what's going on here at the same time? I wouldn't be so friendly on I'd be like, I, hey guys, here's a gem. I gotta write this down. Yeah, I don't know how the like I'm gonna have to like figure out a way to start paying you. I it's just too convenient having you there. Well, I'm gonna need a lot of time off this summer. I know. That or I'm gonna have to make it even more lucrative. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. There's a lot of shows on Saturday that you might miss. Probably. Oh, that's pretty. I like how this one has that X, the facets line up to show that X the way it does. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, man, we were discussing reselling jewelry. I make any jewelry I'm selling, I make myself by hand. I just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't resell, especially Lake Timu. Six is claimed. Mm. Mark that down to five, too. Just be nice. Throwing an extra bonus. I appreciate it. Thank you, Melissa. Melinda. Melinda? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did think you have a secretary today. Yeah, exactly. She's now I am. Actually getting a little worried about Iris. I'm sure she's just doing something crafty. It's what she does, but usually she makes it by two hours in. That almost has that too. It's a little lighter colored. That's in the five. Except I see an inclusion I don't like. I'm changing it. It's four. My camera. Rockhound in Indonesia. Bet they got some cool stuff. They have lots of cool woods with water jewelry. Yeah. I'm trying to think of specific gemstones that I've gotten from that part of the world, but I can't. I can't, like, think off the top of my head. For some reason, zircon's popping up, but sapphires. Oh, 
Oh, they have. I could be wrong. I would. I would say, fact check me on this. But if I'm not mistaken, they have the uh, the the palette. So it's Perido that came to the planet from a meteor. I could be wrong, but I swear that's where that site is. And like faceted periodo, it, it's I want a piece someday. I'm getting it. Palace did it, yeah. Someday I'm getting me one. I've got rough material of it, but it's not really like there's not much I could do with it. That's a four dollar one. I want to say Jasper too. I know someone who gets Jasper from that neck of the woods and uh, some nice Jasper. I got a bumblebee Jasper ring. I didn't know where it came from, but that's cool to know. Okay, Melissa. Omelette sounds good. Five on that one. I have a feeling this one's clean. I could be wrong. Take a look. It's a fairly clean one for sure. I might say something too. Heck, I just want to go go up there because technically everything I need to like material wise to make jewelry, which is what I really love doing. They've got in meteors. I just go live up there and, you know, do drop shipments to, to people on the planet. I think it sounds like a stellar plan. Now you know where the where my name came from, the business name came from. <laughs> One of many excuses. Periodo. One of the parcels of Periodo that I got in between three to six dollars a piece. No, no, unfortunately, engineering isn't quite yet my thing. I say yet because I don't know what's in my future. And, uh, you know, I never would have expected that I would start making jewelry by hand. Until I just one day decided to start doing it. Could happen. Now that wasn't very polite.
four. The last, to my knowledge, this is the last four dollar one. The next ones are all three and under. This one's three, for possibly obvious reasons. The stone has some character, some might say. If you got a microscope, this might be a fun one. A 50 parcel? I don't... I don't know that I quite have that much on hand currently. Of that, of that material. Not currently, at least. I have that in some other gems. Huh. Three? Why did I mark that at three? Ah. That shape there that could be hidden by a prong even. Oh, I'm sure I could. And last but not least, $2. Actually, yeah, let's just throw that in the, the giveaway. Yeah, here in the U.S., we don't have any diamond sources that I consider to be reliable there are a few tourist things out there that i've heard of but they kind of salt that okay i need to refill my vape and utilize the restroom i Linda, 20 and 22. $6. We got you. Thank you. I might do a parcel of diamonds next week. Not a big one. I've got some. I will be right back. If anyone wants to put a claim on any of these uh, or get a closer look again, let me know.
back. Joseph, you know me. I, I pick I pick the diamond or not the diamond, the opal over diamond almost any day. Like personal preference. But I bet the two would look really good together. And yeah, upside DIY, if you uh you get yourself a good faceting machine, you can turn garnets like heck i've got one that i need to polish up it's uh, on my to-do list currently i don't know i don't know that i've shown too many of you guys this thing so this is an old piece it was pulled out of an, a vintage like very old old piece of jewelry it had been worn to the ends of the earth i'm sure i'm i'm working on getting it polished back up It's 26 carats currently. You can, you know, you get a faceting machine, you can, uh, garnets look real good when they get polished up. Even included ones. Rockin', I, I'll chat with you a bit after the stream on that. Um, my diamond supplier, a metal safe, <laughs> got one. My uh, supplier for diamonds is probably not a good place to go with that. However, there might be possibilities. I'll look. I'll I'll talk to some people and look into it. Use a fridge for a safe. That's actually kind of an interesting idea. Um, let's see. I see 2022 was claimed the last one. So put these back and I will do a garnet. Actually, not a bad idea for a save. See here, I've got these. These were budget grade. For sure. Actually, these were the only ones out of the budget grade garnet parcel that I got that I was willing to even price at the time. 
see. And then I'm going to want. Without messing up the stuff on here. And then I have some from my own collection that are a little better quality. I think. I didn't actually compare the two. I might do that now. Twenty one. Uh, yes. I, I can probably do you mean this here? The garnet combo? Ooh. Uh, Joseph, buddy, well, I'll talk to you about that after the stream. Not the kind of numbers I'm comfy with. <laughs> Claim, $7? Definitely the. Now this is not my normal like super high quality material, although it definitely could be worse. All right, buddy. Uh, guys, Melissa, Melissa, uh, oh, Mia, Mia B, Mia's would like to claim that. Give it to Mia. Gotcha. Mia. God, Carolyn is saving me so much time. <clears throat> Joseph, I will get you, I will make a, a similar parcel to this for you, okay? I know I'll talk to you either tonight or tomorrow, so I got you. All right, so I've got a purple garnet here. Oh, you bastard. Don't make me go hunting, please, because that one was not one I can lose or am willing to lose. I couldn't have gone that far. Not possible. It was a nice road of light. Come back to me. Ha! 
<laughs> I was not doing that. A garnet room. I bet that's neat. All right. I got my glove back on. You didn't really jump ahead of her, Mia. I, I gave her a... She... She... she and if... If you decide, by the way, Melissa, that you also want a similar, I will make you up a bundle like that as well. I would be shocked if I don't have the gems necessary to do so. All right. So here I've got a Rotolite Purple Garnet. Now, this is a fairly decent deal at the moment because every time I see this stuff, it's expensive. Like, dumb expensive. I'm only wanting 25 for that one. Did you see did you see him pass out in his kitty bed on top of the bed? I gave him his own little kitty bed on the bed. Yeah, I can see he he got it made. I do my best, Joseph. Pretty purple flashes. If I'm correct, I've got this marked at 25, and it's not a, it's not exactly a small. <laughs> I had a feeling, Joseph. Now, when you were we were talking Huckleberry color, how close is this? It's not quite the same, is it? This isn't quite that Huckleberry color that you were discussing, is it? Rosie, and it is Rosie's. I put her name on it right now. This one, on the other hand, might, might be closer. That's five. It's a good one for tumbling. I've seen people just drill holes through these and turn them into beads. I have a string of them myself. Pricing on these is all over the place, guys. I apologize for that. It's madness. Here's... I did my best. <laughs> 14. What is this? Which one? Yeah. <laughs> this one's 14. It's a nicer one. Compared, I'm going to compare it directly with a bigger one from the parcel I got for the budget material. One is four 
and one is 14, but the brilliant, the difference in brilliance is where the, that was. See, sometimes a piece of garnet just isn't quite deep enough to get the brilliance they want. So instead of making it smaller like this, they don't want to waste it all. Um, they could have just tumbled that, but I can understand why they wouldn't. See, and I got an emerald cut one for nine. I showed this one. Let's see, this, this one is seven. A little cleaner, a little more brilliance. This pear shape is also seven. Again, more brilliance to it. As much as I like, though. Four. The angle of light is not doing these justice. Also for and then some bigger ones in that same range. Now these I'm I noticed when I was looking through them had different inclusions. Some of them it makes them more sparkly. There were a couple that I was like, that's really cool. It looks like crushed ice because of the inclusions. This one, not so much. Hence why it's bigger, but only $4. This one's $3. Oh, you come out and say hello again? Did we bug you? Hmm. After this board, I might move to auctions. Now I've got at least one stone for auction today. I know a lot of people are busy. Four dollars. This one's three. That's Seventeen. Uh, Eighteen is going in the giveaway. I kind of showed this one off a little earlier. Four. 22. Ooh. $4. That's actually a nicer one. I'm trying to see why I marked it that. I think it's that inclusion that I see there. Yeah, that would be why. Good deal on that. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's our last one. And I think this one is
Any interest or should I move to the next supply? Which I'm pretty sure I have. It'll be likely to be um, auctions next. Melinda will claim six. Nine dollars claimed. Melinda? Yeah. Any other out of curiosity? Well, I'll let the auction start playing out and go from there. I'll add some different stones I can use for auctions if people are interested. But we'll start with that Oregon Sunstone and see what where it goes from there. Only got, I don't know, 20 minutes or so left, I think. Daylight and stuff. Yeah, learned lesson there. Okay. This and then there's that one. Two, three, four. I know, meow, meow. I'm getting your spot drained off. I really hope Opal's come in next week. I don't think they're going to, but I'm really Me too. <laughs> that, that pack's a good one. I'm going to hand you these. All right, so I didn't... I'm out of the, uh, the nice special boxes currently, but we have this Oregon Sunstone to start with today. Oh, no, I'm not. show any jewelry off this week. Yeah. This week was slow and I just didn't get time to prepare for anything. Body was not was not pleased with me. Yeah. Instead of setting up for the stream, 
I was busy setting those up. I was praying they were going to show up yesterday, but they just, you know, shipping from India. Or the Tanzanite came from Thailand, actually. So this is a barrel cut. I'll give a good view of it, of course. Indeed. The shiller on it is quite interesting too. Like you can see there the lines running through it, which I mean for a stone that has shiller, that's not exactly surprising. It's a beautiful, beautiful stone. I will start the auction on this at 30 and just let it play out from there if anyone is interested in it. That is Oregon Sunstone. Cut in a barrel cut. So non-standard faceting. Beautiful, beautiful stone. Joseph gonna bid thirty dollars. Anybody else? Uh, or is Joseph gonna get this uncontested? Seems like he might just get it uncontested. <laughs> Melinda comes in with 35. I will let it play out. The shiller these things have is really interesting. 45 from Joseph. That's some power bidding going on today. I appreciate that. Thank you. This was a... Uh, was not exactly cheap, but at the same time, I couldn't help it. They're really pretty. <laughs> no, you're fine. Thank you. 
à it's a really pretty stone and i don't know stones with phenomena always just have something spiritual for me i can't explain it all phenomena are, are fascinating to me we got 45 going uh any anybody else i it, if there's lag I'm probably giving this warning too late. That wasn't smart of me. If, yeah, there's a... Nice. I would love to get to go rock hounding this material, but that's not in the cards for me. I'll be lucky if I can get up to one of the sapphire mines. But I'm trying. I've got the access. It's just getting my body to be all right with it. I got 45 from Joseph going, uh, going once. It's a whole different type of brilliance. It's not actually brilliance. It's just, I love Schiller. 45 going twice. Hopefully I've given everyone who might be lagging enough of a chance. Forty-five going three times. Hammer is up and sold to Joseph. Thank you, buddy. Shillings, I love it. Nice. Joseph, I don't know that, uh, I don't know if I should do another auction. Oh, Montana Sapphire, that's right. I had put a Montana Sapphire aside for this. So I have a faceted Montana Sapphire here. Nice. Whoops, did not mean for y'all to see the bottom of that. Disregard that. You saw nothing. No reserve. Minimum bid, one dollar. This Montana Sapphire. If I remember correctly, it's a third of a carat, 0. 0.3. 
of a carrot. So yeah, about a third. There we go. So yeah, refresh definitely if you're interested. When you say three pounds of sorted, do you mean like three pounds of emerald? I got you, my friend. Rosie bids five. <laughs> Rosie, Rosie knows. Rosie knows. I see these commonly getting sold up here for, well, I mean, if you saw what I put on the back of the gem jar, I did that because that's pretty much the going rate up here. And we're next to the damn mine. Fairly clean stone. Got some inclusions up towards the top. Bit saturated. Very pretty stone. Highest bid is $5 currently. Melinda bid seven. That's the one I need to have it in. I don't want to know what that cat is getting into. I'm sure, and I, I I know how you are with family, man. Y'all are amazing. Got $7 from Melinda. That checks out. Gonna eat that box. Doesn't have to be too ornate. I, I can I can make something that you know is perfect for whatever his tastes are. Let you uh you dote on him a little bit. Seven dollars top bid, really? On a on a blue Montana sapphire. It really, I'm kind of surprised. 15. Thank you, Rosie. I love the just our different sapphires that we get up here. Rosie bids 15. Oh yeah, there's you have a squirrel nest. Oh yeah. Um, they saw a squirrel. Oh. The, them squirrels love tormenting the cats too. They love to play right outside these windows right here. Oh man. <laughs> I swear the squirrels come down and knock on the window to get my cat's attention if they can. That guy out there's huge too. Like, I feed him once in a while. <laughs> He kind of looked like he wanted to approach me, and then the dogs were like, I haven't gotten him to get that close, but I'll, I'll go, like, if I'm out there and I got popcorn or something, I'll throw him a couple pieces of popcorn or whatever. Just Like, I don't know what you eat, but go ahead and... I mean, they, they sure loved our trash cans. We got a 15 going once.
Rosie. 15 going twice. Sold fifteen dollars. Rosie, you just legally uh and you know how like strict I am on my pricing, like that was a great deal. Congratulations. All right, guys. Thank you. Um, you know, I'm going to get something to eat, I think. Been a little slow. I'm cool with that. It was great hanging out. I love just chilling with all y'all. Um, but, 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 but we cannot forget. I do this thing. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Get that in Rosie's box. Random number. How many? Uh, don't yell at me, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, 16. Dang it. They don't make a 16 sided die. I always wanted to land on the perfect number to roll like one of my, like, you know, the D12 or the D20 or something. Yeah. One through 16. Number picker will. One through 16. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Today's giveaway mm. Where did it go? Let's throw that labyrinth in there. We'll throw that labyrinth in there too. So we got four of the bigger budget amethysts. Let me just grab a random amethyst out of that tray. <laughs> I'm horrible about this. I like it. Just hook people up. All right. So we got tanzanite, garnet, peridot, one of the nicer amethysts, and then... Some of the more budget-friendly amethysts. Good for practice and wire wrapping if you're wanting to learn. Now, if I don't have an email from you by next week, whoever wins, I... The way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to start rolling them over okay. if no one claims. And so then, you know, eventually someone's getting it. We'll, uh, we'll do a giant pot or something. So. Oh, cool. Start putting them in bags. Uh, nah, it's all right. Okay. Oh, it should be efficient. See here, we got the number picker wheel. Can I get the list? And I got the list. Yeah, you you make a good point there. Here, just tell me whatever number I land on, okay? I will. That's what I was gonna do, but I didn't realize they probably should see it too. That was what I was thinking. Okay. All right. Stare at the infinite screen for a little bit while I. Uh, There we go.
get that work kind of out. Can you uh, hold this for me? I'm trying to keep the invoice kind of off screen a bit. There we go. All right. So number picker wheel. Love Faith. You there, uh, you there, Marnie? Shoot me an email, yeah? I'll probably send you one if you don't hear this. Congratulations, love. You're, uh, oh, you know what? Your box, I'll just add this to your box that's about to grow out. Uh, I'll have to cut that box open, but that ain't a big deal. So thank you again. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Um, I might, I'm not going to commit to it yet, but I might do a crafting stream or something tomorrow just because I, we'll, we'll see. kind of depends on how I'm feeling too, but I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me. And the support. Thank you, Upside. Ken, you have a good one. Melinda, thank you again. Lisa, you have a wonderful night. We'll talk to you a bit later. Um, so if you made an order, send me an email to... Uh, Tyler59801 at gmail.com. You won, Joseph. You won the, the sapphire that you were the auction. So, but if, uh, yeah, if, if you haven't already emailed me, um, Melinda, I think you, have emailed me but it might be difficult for me to find your email so uh if you could send me an email i'd appreciate it happy easter everyone i hope you have a blessed weekend be safe and uh we will talk to you on the next one and I like having the computer set up.